Look, mate, my coffee this morning was 30 seconds late and 2 degrees below my requested temperature. Honestly, fire my assistant's assistant and hire someone competent. This is what sort of operation that we're running here. Uh, hello, hello, thank you everybody, thank you for coming out. Uh, now obviously it's a very, very exciting time here, so let me get rid of my coffee, uh, at Brentford as we look to embark on the Premier League for the first time. Uh, I feel like I'm home now, I'm where I belong with the big time. Uh, now of course, I don't want you to be intimidated by me now that I'm rich and famous. Uh, I am still that little guy that showed up in Walsall three seasons ago in League Two. Uh, now, do we have any questions? Uh, yeah, Reginald Haymaker, local reporter. Uh, now, you signed 14 players so far this window. Is your concern that you've broken up the team that got you here? No, look, mate, I think a number of those signings are young guys for the future. Uh, and the guys that have come in for this year, uh, you know, they're, they're quality. They're, they're going to improve us. So I'm really happy with what we've done. Yeah, now, you start this season having won each league on the way up. Uh, do you think you can win the Premier League? Uh, and if not, what is his goal? Can I win it? Absolutely. Uh, do I think I can win it this year? I mean, that's going to be a big ask. Uh, obviously, the goal is to make sure we're in the division again next year. Um, I mean, I've become used to a certain uh, certain level of lifestyle now. Uh, I can't go back to the championship, so we're going to be fighting tooth and nail uh, to make sure we can keep this lifestyle. Yeah, do you think the uh, glamour of the Premier League is distracting you? Look, tell Brad Pitt I'll be with him in a second. I've just got to finish dealing with this mob first. Uh, pardon, what was the question? Oh, distracted. Um, no, no, I don't think so. Hi guys, I'm Aussie Villain. Welcome to Season 2, Episode 1 at Brentford as we follow in Dean Smith's footsteps and welcome to the Premier League. It's so, so exciting. I'm really, really looking forward to this. And before our first game, we can pretend that we're going to be a good team and fighting for Europe this season, which... Yeah, maybe we will, maybe we won't. <laughs> Probably not. Uh, but let's have a look. You can see the league has already got itself underway. We have a Sunday game, um, so there has obviously already been some other games. But let's start by having a quick look at the season preview for the league. Um, we're not expected to do much. The three promoted teams are expected to be the three relegated teams. So 1,000 to 1, we're more of a chance than what uh, Leicester City were when they won it. Uh, Leeds and Sheffield United look like they're going to be a, t a tough, uh, in tough as well. And Fulham, who are playing in our first game, are also predicted to struggle. We're also playing Everton today, who are predicted to be a pretty good team. Uh, it's not going to surprise you to know we don't have anybody in the media dream eleven. Um, and if we go and have a quick look at the key players who uh, the, who are expected to be the key players for all the all the teams. Uh, Fabio Pereira, who of course we tried to sign if you missed yesterday's um, transfer special. Uh, and we have Fico, who is not in our starting 11 today, I can tell you that for free. Uh, and also Jaden Boggle, who I'm very, very excited about, and he is in our starting 11 for today's game. Um, so that is, uh, that's the pre-season preview there. If we're going to have a quick look at our board expectations, we're expected to fight bravely against relegation. We had a friendly cup thing that we won in pre-season, which was nice. Uh, we're expected to reach the fourth round of the FA Cup and the third round of the Carabao Cup. We did get our draw away to Oxygen on them. If you remember, we played them in the championship last season. They got relegated, so they're a League One team, even if we are away from home. I would be hoping... Uh, that will get the result in that one. Um, now, a few other things here to have a quick look at. If we go and have a quick look at dynamics, we did obviously make a lot of signings um, in the summer, and you can see it has taken an effect on our team cohesion, uh, which isn't ideal. I expect we might struggle a little bit at the start of the year, but what we have done is we've strengthened the squad. Uh, the dressing room atmosphere isn't too bad, um, and you can see managerial support is still good. The hierarchy... Um, it's, it's not too bad. De Silva, Marek Hamzik, who of course we brought in for this season, and Baptiste, who is club captain. We'll get to that in just a second. They are the team leaders. Uh, you can see we have got a little bit of a, a, a shortage of highly uh, influential and influential players, but that's basically down to the fact we have so many new signings. Um, which, I mean, again, it's not ideal. Again, the dressing room is, is a little bit fragmented right now. But again, that is down to the fact that we've made so many new signings. And I'm hoping very quickly through this season, it'll all start to come together for us. Um, so that is that. The other thing to have a quick look at, well, we'll get to captains in just a second. Um, if we just quickly go back here and have a look at what we are doing in our first game against... There it is against Fulham. We are at home. This is, of course, one of our big local rivals. Um, we are 6-4 to four favorites, which is nice. Um, Lee Bowyer is the Fulham manager. We have a quick look at him here. Um, 
he's not too bad, is he? Not too bad. Uh, not fantastic. He's been in the job for just over a year, it looks like. No, two years almost. Adventurous, direct style of play. Uh, unfortunately, we don't know too much else about them. Uh, I'm going to have to check... <laughs> <laughs> what our scouts are doing apparently because we're not uh, they're not scouting the next opposition, but that's okay uh, Let's have a quick look here at our team for this first game now start off actually with captains Which is what I wanted to show you um, if we go to tactics and captains uh, Baptiste is the club captain for the year now the reason he's club captain is because when Rooney retired and we had to select a new club captain Hamzik and Dobson weren't at the club Um so moving forward after this season, I didn't want to remove Baptiste as captain and risk unsettling him. Hamzik's just on a one-year deal. So I think moving forward, George Dobson is the obvious choice as captain. Um, and then we can kind of go from there if Baptiste is still young, so probably him as a vice captain. Uh, but for this season, Baptiste is our captain and Marek Hamzik is the vice captain. Uh, all right, now let's go back and have a look at the team that we are sending out today. Yeah, our first ever Premier League team, it is Gunnarsson. The goalkeeper uh, for this one. It is Chris McKenna. No, it's Scott McKenna. Make, I think Chris McKenna was a rugby league player. Um, he makes his debut at, at one of the centre backs. He is going to partner Rasic, who of course was with us last season in defence. Uh, at right wing back, it's Jaden Bogle. I'm really, really excited. Our club record signing on 65 grand a week. Maybe I've overpaid for him there. <laughs> but he's going to go um, down the right side. Down the left, it's going to be Dominic Thompson, who is a good young wing back. So hopefully. He'll put in a performance for us. Now, you may remember the last game last year that Garner got himself sent off. He's not available for this one, so Dobson is going to make a debut, um, playing as the halfback in this one. So, so that's three debutants already. Baptiste is going to be box-to-box -box midfielder. He is going to be next to Hamzik making a debut uh, as the new Wayne Rooney in the attacking advanced playmaker role. And Palo Versa, who was, of course, we had on loan last year. He's back for this season. Um, he goes in midfield. And up top, we have Jamie Vardy making his debut as the pressing forward. He's going to partner Penna Renda, who, of course, we had last year uh, up in our attack. And if we look at the bench, it's Bella Kome, who, of course, we had last year. It's Simpson, who we brought in in January of last year. I think it was January, wasn't it? It's uh, James Justin. will make his debut if he comes on in the second half or at any point. Diola, we had last year, so he's on the bench for this one. As is Ferrai, uh, who, of course, will make his debut if he comes off. We signed him uh, from Dortmund on a free transfer, I think it was, wasn't it? The wizard, Lewis Potter, is on the bench for this one. We've got him in January last year. And also Tuazi, back on loan again for this season. He's on the bench, so if we need him, uh, I won't be afraid to bring him on either. Last season's top goal scorer, of course. So that's it. That's the starting 11 for Brentford's first ever Premier League team. Let's go see how we do. All right, and here we go. Here are the lineups for the opening game. We can see they've got a few debutants themselves. Um, if you're looking for squad numbers, McKenna is 4, Dobson is 22, Bogle is 12, Hamzik is 17, and Bardi is 14. Um, and there's some others on the bench there as well, but you'll get to know them if and when they come on. Uh, all right, the dressing room. Ben Garner says, do it for our fans. That possibly seems like the best thing to say, doesn't it? Give the fans their money's worth today. It's opening day of the Premier League season. Everybody's excited. Oh, let's see how we do. All right, and here we go. Premier League football for Brentford. I don't really know what to expect. Pre-season, I should have shown you pre-season. It went okay. Here's Hamzik over a free kick. Decent ball in towards the back post over everybody. Rasic goes to retrieve it. And let's see what we can do. Back there for Thompson. Thompson spreads it back out to McKenna for Hamzik. Marek Hamzik, what can he do? It gets tackled away. He should keep possession, though. Can he get across here? He can. It's Vardy. Oh, Vardy's gone down. It's a penalty. Referee, that's surely a penalty. He's gone behind for a corner, but surely we're going to check VAR. Vardy's gone down. And it is a penalty, and it is Jamie Vardy to take it. Is he going to score three minutes into his debut? It's Jamie Vardy. Go! Oh, what a start for Jamie Vardy. A first goal for Brentford. A first goal in the Premier League for Brentford. Three and a half minutes into our first game. And that is amazing. Really, really good penalty as well, wasn't it? That's one thing Vardy does have if you sort of watched the transfer special yesterday. Um, it was something I pointed out, wasn't it, that he does. He is a really, really good penalty taker. Um, so that is absolutely massive. We've told him to concentrate. Uh, let's see if we can demand a little bit more. But so far, this has been very, very good indeed. We couldn't have asked for a much better start. We've limited their chances. We're keeping possession. We're creating our own chances. And, 
you, you can only be happy with this so far. Bogle's looking a little bit pressured by the demand more. Of uh, course, he is making him and Dobson, who's just got a booking, they're both making the step up. They were playing League One football last season. So that is obviously not ideal, but we've absolutely dominated this first half. Um, just the one goal. But I think the season that we, we I expect to be in for, we just need to make sure that, you know, we're tough to beat. And if we are creating chances, then that's, you know, even better. Dobson on a booking will tell him to watch his step. Um... Everybody else is not too bad. Penarenda, maybe we get a little bit more from you, please, mate. Uh, maybe we can get a little bit more from Baptiste as well as the box-to-box -box midfielder. Everybody else, though, I'm relatively happy with. Um, I'm certainly not going to have a go at anybody after that first half. Let's try another demand more. Everybody's looking motivated, which is good. McKenna's on a booking. It looks like we've got some defending to do. What we don't want to do is concede an equaliser early in the second half, having taken the lead, of course, early in the first half. There's a ball in. It's headed on. Gunnarsson makes a simple save. And what's going to happen from here? Gunnarsson rolls it out to Rasic. Rasic in for Dobson. Back to... Oh, Jesus Christ, boys. Get rid. There we go. Nicely done. Played around the press. McKenna chips it out there for Thompson. He brings it down. He gets past his man wonderfully. All right, there was Thompson. Where's Penarenda and Vardy in the middle? He gets the cross in. That's Penarenda. Oh, straight into the arms of the goalkeeper. Tyrone Mings is playing for Fulham now. There we go. Um, this has not been too bad. Baptiste is only playing a 6.4 now. Uh, I begin to think about his future in this game. There's a ball forward for Fulham. We've got a man there. Cross comes in. Can we win the header? We can't. But again, straight into the arms of Gunnarsson. He throws it out there for Palaversa to bring it forward now. What can he do? Spreads it out nicely for Boggle. All right, here's my 12 million pound man. What can he do? Go on, Jaden. Can he get a cross in? He does. He goes really, really well. It's a goal. What a header from the edge of the area from Baptiste. That was a bullet. Any closer and on target, you'd say that would have just about gone in. He's not having a good day, though. So let's take him off. Let's get Dorilla, uh, Diola, I should say, on, who's a good box-to-box -box midfielder himself. And Penarenda's having a bad day. So let's get Tuazi on for him. Double change just after the hour mark. And let's see if it has a desired effect or the wrong effect, because Fulham begin the highlight. A little bit too much space in there for their midfield. Vardy's got wonderfully back there, tracking back one. At Dobson gets it forward nice and early. Here's Boggle with some space to run into. Can he get across into the box again? He can. It's in there. It's down. It's there. It's bouncing around. And it's Diola. It's still there. Jamie Vardy has it now. And is that another penalty? No, it's not. Oh, really, really good opportunity there. We just couldn't quite stick it away. Another highlight begins with Brentford. Here we go with Hamzik. The first we've seen him really in open play. It's a good ball out there to find his other veteran player, Vardy. Oh, Vardy's got himself sent off. Well, that's not the debut we were looking for, Jamie. Um, well, I just think we just go pressing forward up top. Um... Yeah, pressing forward up top. Uh, we'll stick you in the middle there. Uh, we've got to just go back onto balanced and just try and see this out now, don't we? Uh, lower the tempo, waste time, play for set pieces. Um, we'll slow it down. And I guess we'll just be a little bit more... They're a direct team though, aren't they? So no, let's not be more compact. Um, oh, Jamie Vardy, mate. What have you done? He's going to be missing, of course, now for three games as well, given it was a straight red, isn't he? Um, if we can just see out this result, then he's got the penalty. Maybe all, well, not all forgiven, but, you know, we can deal with it. Um, all right, let's go full. I think I've already done everything here, haven't I? So that's fine. So let's just go to ultra defensive. Try and see this out, boys. We've won opening day. We've deserved to win opening day. The problem with that, of course, is the Vardy red card. But, you know, we'll take it, won't we? We'll take it. Well done, boys. So Brentford in control as Fulham brushed aside. Vardy suffers a red card on Dabu. He's banned. It's just the one game. Okay. Um, so we... Uh, da, 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 so just don't appeal. And... Shouldn't he get a fine? Anyway. Um, 
I'll have to check the, uh, I'll have to check the, what's it called, the code of conduct. Uh, Palaversa, good game there for him, and that is excellent stuff. Guys, we have 37 points to get to stay in the league, we go to Everton next. Okay, welcome back. A little bit to catch you up on since last uh, game. We have uh, requested and been approved for an improvement in our coaching, uh, junior coaching, our youth recruitment, uh, and also the data analysis facilities. I just did that first because it's cheap and quick. Um, so that's all taking place. A quick look at what that does to us. Uh, if we go to facilities here, you can see average academy coaching, fairly basic youth recruitment. So a lot of work to be done there and poor data analysis facilities. We will look to do to upgrade the rest of it as the season goes on here. Um, but yeah, that just kind of all is what it is for now. If we go back here up to the top and we will see that Roslev has agreed to leave. So January 1st, he's off to Luton Town. Um, we don't need him anymore. So he's, he's been a good player for us, but uh, we've moved past him. So he is off to pastures new. And one little bit of negative news to catch you up on. An injury to our young Croatian left back, uh, Mikulic. So he's out for about two to three weeks. Um with an ankle injury, so we can get by I just about with Thompson, of course, uh, uh, James Justin can switch over to the left if we need him to as well, um, but it's a shame that we've lost him for the start of the of the season here, um, but we are here, of course, ready to face Everton, now Everton did lose their first game, but it was away to Manchester United, so there's maybe, you know, some excuses to be had for them there, uh, they are the favourites, as you would expect, they, of course, you remember back to the start of the, the episode, they were one of the favourites for European football, they're a Jesse Marsh coached team, a very good manager he looks to be as well. He's worked predominantly in the Red Bull system, it looks like, an American um, as well. So they're adventurous, standard playing style. I'll uh, have a quick look at the Dow Analysis report because I managed to fix that up. Uh, we can see we're expecting them to come out in the 4-2-3-1 formation. They've got uh, that Jude Bellingham, uh, Holgate, Mina, Digne. They've got a good team there, so... It's going, to be, it's going to be a tough one for us. It'll be a good test, though, I think, especially away from home to see exactly where we stand. We can see there they were a little bit compact uh, when they played Manchester United, but you would expect that. There's their passing network and their key passes as well. And this is a team that we're sending out now. Obviously, we've had a few changes enforced on us here, but more or less, it's the same team uh, that we had. So it's Gunnarsson in goal, McKenna and Rasic as the defensive duo, Boggle and Thompson down the wings. James Garner comes back in for this one, though I think we might want him more as an anchor. Uh, no, let's go as a halfback. That seemed to work well with Dobson, didn't it? As Palo versus Hamzik and Baptiste continuing in midfield. Tuazi and Penaranda, uh, they go up top for this one. The duo that got us promoted last year. Let's see how we do. So you may notice here, Dobson has just dropped back to the bench, and Fico, the young Italian we have on loan, he is uh, he's on the bench as well if we need him. So he basically comes in to replace Vardy in the match day squad. Everybody there is playing as expected, though. They've got Sigurdsson, Richarlison as well. It's a good team. Um, so it's going to be a, it's going to be a, a tough test this one for us. Encourage the team, give them a bit of a morale boost. Uh, let's show them what we're capable of. I like that. Some calm. We have faith, and yeah, let's just go and see where we stand here. We really don't have anything to lose. All right, and here we go. Um, yeah, I am. I am genuinely curious to see how we do in this one. It's it's the first time that we've played, obviously, a, a, a established Premier League team. Not that Fulham's on the you but you know what I mean. Here we go. Early free kick. Hamzik's there. Knocks it. It looks decent. Baptiste headed away. Penarenda's there. Can he keep possession for us? He does. Back to Ghana. Back out there to Hamzik. Come on, mate. Come on. Oh, cross in. It's blocked away. He's got three blue shirts on him. He can't quite keep possession, and are we going to end up getting caught on the break here, that would be harsh, come on boys, don't do this to me, Gordon tries to get forward, he cuts in, he gets a shot at goal, and six minutes in, we're 1-0 down, and I don't quite understand how that's ended up in the back of the net, caught on the break, which is really, really harsh, it was, who was it there, Rasic got done inside, and good nuts, and it's just lobbed. It's a good finish, I think, isn't it? From that angle, it looks like a very, just a good chipped finish. Um, from the first angle we saw, it looked a little bit like some dodgy goalkeeping. But we'll give good nuts and the benefit of the doubt there. We're 1-0 down, though. And, yeah, perhaps slightly concerning. I mean, th this isn't really our season, is it? Away to Everton is not, not really where we're going to you know, stay up or not this season. At home to Everton... You, you know, we'll have another conversation about that. That's somewhere. Here we go with Marek Hamzik. Can he get a little bit of magic for us? Oh, it's a decent effort. It's palmed onto the bar, was it, from uh, Pickford in goal. But a good effort there from Hamzik. And that's what we're going to need from him. We're going to need him to be 
that uh, sort of spark plug for us at times. They've gone early again forward, and we might need to perhaps consider the way we're playing here. Let's just drop off a little bit further. Um, I am wondering if maybe attacking is a little bit too ambitious for us. Let's go back to positive and see if that helps us at all. Um... We're almost at half time. It's not been a terrible first half. We've been relatively solid defensively again. They've only really looked to catch us on the break. Um, what do we say? Unlucky, perhaps. Uh, that seems to have worked. Thompson's not having a great time of things out there. Uh, and Panarenda again up top. Not at his wonderful best. We know what he can do. Hamshik is only playing a 6.5 as well. Uh, is there anything else we want to change here, I wonder? Um, the reason we're in more discipline is just because there are so many new players. They're so just try and keep it a little bit uh, tighter to start with. Do we want to play at a higher tempo? Um, or do we want to lower it? Maybe we want to lower it. Let's try exploit the middle. Let's try and get Hamshik involved as much as possible. Uh, and we might obviously need to look to change things in the second half here if things don't pick up for us. Uh, we've got a corner, also not a corner, a free kick to defend here. Sigurdsson knocks it in, and it's too easy. Rasic again. Beaten by Anthony Gordon. He's beaten him on the ground, and now he's beaten him in the air. Um, is Rasic not going not gonna to make the step up with us? It would look like he may have got a push in the back there. He never got off the ground, though, did he? Was there a push? We're not going to probably see it, are we? It looks suspiciously like a push, but it wasn't given, so there's nothing we can do about it. Everton with another throw here. Can we nick this and go up the other end? Cross comes in. Good Nartson's made a mess of it. McKenna has rescued us there, and whatever we've done at halftime is clearly not working, is it? So let's try going the other way on tempo. Let's get rid of that and see where that leaves us. Hamshik is only playing a 6.4 now. Thompson's only playing a 6.4. Um... All right, let's try changing things up altogether. Let's have a go at wingers. Let's see if that gets us anywhere. Um, we do want Hamstick to stay on the field. I think of those, I'd rather Baptiste leave us. Um, so we're going to have Fico out there. I think I trust Panarenda to score more. Do I? No, let's go with our top goal scorer last year. So let's get Fico out there on the left. Potter out there on the right. Um, I want... Roman Tur and I want let's go double Roman Tur. Let's get the wing backs forward. I mean we're already we're already losing the game 2-0. So it's a, it's isn't it a chance to experiment here and just see exactly what happens. McKenna is not a ball player. Um Yeah, let's just see well, let's just see where this takes us. If it works it works, if it doesn't then, you know, we've learned something. But the way it's going, it's you know we're going to lose the game anyway, so we may as well try and get something out of it if we can. Hamshik again not having a great time of things. We do have a throw here. We do have uh, Ferrani on the bench as well, who is a similar sort of player to Hamshik, not as good obviously. Here we go with Boggle getting forward. Cross comes in back post. It's headed away, and are we going to get caught on the break again? No, McKenna has that. It's there for Thompson. Thompson spreads it out for Boggle. Can he get a cross into the box? Do we have anybody in there? We do now. Back post. It's headed away again. Palaversa picks it up. Can we get ourselves back in this game? A good ball forward to Thompson. We've got men in the box again. Thompson, it's in there. And it's Tuwazi with his first goal of the season. It's 2-1. And are we back in this game? Excellent stuff. Really, really good play. The wingbacks getting forward did quite well. Good overlapping run. We've got men in the box occupying the fullbacks as well, which is what gave us so much space. A centre-back goes rushing out, and Tuazi makes no mistake with the finish. A first goal of the season for him. It's 2-1, and you just never know. You just never know. Do we take Hamstick off? No, we don't, because Potter's injured. Um... All right, well, that, that, kind of, that kind of hurts us a little bit. Hamstick, can he play out wide right? I mean, he's not doing anything in the middle, is he? So let's put him out there. I wonder if we put him out there as an advanced playmaker on support. And then if we were to get Fari on, get him to make a debut. Um, 
what can we do with you? What can we do with you? I really just want you to get forward. Attacking midfielder. It's not his, not an ideal role for him, but it's sort of a bit, a little bit of needs must, isn't it? Come on, boys. Come on. Can we go and get this equalising goal? Come on, boys. Come on. Come on. Six minutes of stoppage time. Let's go very attacking. Let's go more direct. Let's lump it forward. Let's see if there's something. They probably don't want, don't want to do extremely direct. Um, high lines. Go at them, boys. Come on. Come on. Can we get... Oh, we've got a highlight. Come on, boys. I imagine if we get an equalising goal, that would be a wonderful thing. We stand over the free kick. Is it Rasic? It is Rasic. He owes us. He's cost us two goals. Hamstick out there wide right. Ball over for Tuazi. Tuazi's in. Tuazi! Oh! Oh, a golden opportunity. I thought it was in. And I tell you what, with wingers, we haven't looked too bad out there, have we? We've we've given them a game this second half uh, once we went behind or once we changed things as much as anything. Branthwaite, who of course was the traitor. I'm assuming that's the same guy. The traitor of Barla Town. Um, left us for Ipswich if you're not watching the Barla Town series. Um, can we get a foot in here somewhere? Iwobi's in a little bit of space. 3-1 would be ridiculously harsh. And it, I tell you what, doesn't look like it's going to happen right now. So we're going to nick it and go and score. No, there it is. Well, let me know what you think in the comments. Not the worst, I'd say. Uh, we definitely finished stronger. Um, unlucky, boys. Oh, and it's a fractured arm, a broken arm for the wizard. That's disappointing as well. So he's out for about a month now as well. Uh, Ferrani makes his, or Ferrai, I guess, makes his debut. Um... As this uh, Fico, of course. Let me know what you think in the comment. I don't think that's too bad. Um, it's been a, a decent first episode in the Premier League. A win and a loss. We won our home game. That's what we're going to need to do. We're only a point off the top of the table. <laughs> if you want to look at it like that. Um, I think there's promising signs there. You know, I think we've done okay. I really, really do. But that's it for today. If you have enjoyed that, please do hit thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. And we'll be back next time. We will really test ourselves. We're going away to Manchester United. And then we will host Liverpool in the league. That is going to be a baptism of fire. The transfer window will be closed at that point as well. So we'll be able to, to sort of confirm exactly what we've done this window. Um, but until then, I've been Ozzy Bell. Thank you so much for watching. As I said, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, and yeah, I'll see you next time. Take care.